Oh, Cribs, come on in, come on in. Welcome to the Lair of Doom. This is the Lair of Doom. We have many, many, many fine things, all of which I am going to show you that go into the life of a professional writer, a which is me. So much cool stuff here that people have made like this. This is a hatchling. It's made out of some kind of rubbery paraphernalia. We've got Kraken's badges. This is an actual wedding corsage made out of the book Nocturnal. It's crazy. We've got lots of little awards and things like that. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. And then this. Handmade ancestor. Just what everybody needs. Here is the bookshelf of my business partner, the director of Doom. We have all of her stuff. So much cool stuff in here. Look at all the things we've made over the past few years. We did not make the periodic table, but I do think they probably ripped off ideas that I had to make the periodic table. I'm ancient. I'm very old. I'm like a thousand years old. So I probably did make the periodic table. So we're not that big on awards. Most time we don't care as long as you guys are buying books and you guys are happy. That's what really matters to us. But once in a while, you do get something cool. Awards that you can actually see through and make faces. And then we have some other things. We've got a wonderful puke bucket made by a fan. Golden puke bucket directly out of the Galactic Football League series. We have a key hand, which is one of the races in the Galactic Football League, handcrafted by Scott Pond. It's quite lovely. This is my desk. This is where I spend hours and hours and hours a day, sometimes 14 hours a day. It's very lonely, my existence, but thankfully, I get to hang out with Marvin. Say hello, Marvin. So yes, I spend an enormous amount of time right here. Fortunately, we've got very good gear, got a big screen for various editing things, see lots of stuff. I write all my books right here. Most of the time that software stays right in this screen and this is all research. And then various paraphernalia books I have to read. There's always a cup of coffee. Sometimes I have a little timer because I'm so ADD. I have to set it to just 10 minutes. Just work 10 minutes without going and looking at Twitter, for example. Do you just have coffee? Or do you maybe also have? Oh, yeah, well, every now and then the coffee's not quite enough, so a little bit of a snifter, as I said. We're not alcoholics! We're not! It's once in a great while, so relax! And then this, of course, is the whiteboard where a lot of ideas happen. It's huge. It's magnetic. How do magnets actually work? I would like to know. So I'll put up a lot of ideas here, then I will transpose those ideas onto the screen, and then we start writing, and then <laughs> many years later, you guys get a book shipped to you. This is the wall of me because I am so modest and don't have a giant ego crammed into my swollen forehead. We have some book covers. We have wonderful things. The old New York Times article that helped break my career. Key anatomy designed by Dr. Jeremy Ellis and wonderful things. Mementos from my wrestling days. Some of my nephews, football helmets, and this dog, the dog of doom. She is staring into your soul and will probably eat it. Hello, mini cribs. Come look at my tiny little recording booth. This is where the magic happens. This is where we do your audiobooks, where we do your podcasts. Uh, it's been a central point of our business for a lot of years. What we do is we send our scripts, books, whatever, to an iPad, which we have on a boom mic, which is done in glorious INF Kraken's colors of orange and black. And then we sit here and I look at the iPad and record into my RE27 mic because it's, it's what NPR uses. We're very NPR-ish. This is where we do all of our engineering for our audio and for our video. So when you hear the podcast or you hear the audio books, this is where we're putting all the different pieces together. Wonderful, wonderful setup. We're very proud of it. A few knickknacks, aliens here and there. This, this is my big knob. This is the desk of my business partner, A Real Girl, A Kovacs, the director of Doom herself. This is where she handles all of our scheduling, getting our books published, all those wonderful things to bring the stories to you guys. And I probably won't even get in trouble for sitting at this desk. Yeah, you will. Oh, geez. <music> this 
This is the table that doubles. We ship things from here, so we'll pack things up, ship your orders out. When we're not doing that, we have our mic set up so that we can do face-to-face -face podcast recording, which uh, A Real Girl and I do quite a lot. That's the Empty Set logo. It's dope. This is my closet. Now, a lot of you only know me from this, from Alive, from the Generations trilogy, but there's so much more to me. Let me tell you, this is our Galactic Football League series. We have paperbacks for the series and we have hardcovers, even though the hardcovers are sold out, out of print and you can't order them, so don't bother emailing because you can't get these. We also have t-shirts that we ship out that we've all made by ourselves, mostly designed by Scott Pond. So this series is a far future space opera suitable for young adult story that has an American Pro Football League as the backdrop seven centuries in the future with aliens playing different skill positions. It's kind of awesome. We ship these all over the world. And if you guys want to check it out, go to scottsago.com slash store or look up GFL on Amazon. If you want to know the best picture of my working relationship with my business partner, A. Kovacs, it's this. It's from Sigler Fest. Uh, this is me, front of stage with the mic hamming it up. This is her. She's got my back. Since you can't work all the time, this is where most of the relaxation gets done. Got my couch, got my TV, Xbox, PlayStation, all the things that a growing boy needs to keep his mind sharp. Every now and then, I get some time, get to play a little bass guitar. And then, every now and then you have to stab someone right in the face. And then these are the books that I have published over the past 10 years. It's crazy to think that 10 years ago, I was emailing people, sending out manuscripts, just trying to break into the business. And now 10 years later, we've made all of these cool things for all of you cool people. There are foreign editions of a lot of these books. I can't read most of these. I'm not even sure what book they are, but this is where the Germans live up here. Some closing thoughts. Thank you so much, Cribs, for coming to see what it is we do here. From me, from A Real Girl, from the Dog of Doom, and from this one that we found on the street somewhere. I'm probably gonna turn her into soup later on. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time. Oh, I didn't know you were still here, Cribs. I was using the facilities. Do you wanna see something? This is what a nerd shower curtain looks like. It's all about the science.